Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HD broadcast and today we are going to be looking at a very special game. It is going to be an in-house game between two of the OGS clan members and if you guys aren't aware of who OGS are, they are currently one of the registered pro gaming teams in Korea, in South Korea, playing for StarCraft 2. And so basically the players who are in the OGS team play this for a living. Uh, they are registered with the government. They play this for basically everything they can get, you know, for food, for their job. This is what they do. And so they are the best of the best of the best. And I'm so excited to be bringing this game to you guys. It is going to be OGS the STC. And I think I'll just call him STC for short. He is going to be playing Terran here. And so once again, he is going to be a Korean pro gamer and when I say pro gamer I do mean pro gamer because they are of course registered in South Korea as such so it is going to be the SCC spawning as Green Terran down in the six o'clock position here on, Lo on Metalopolis excuse me and his opponent is going to be a clan mate it is going to be OGS SKS or SSKS and for short his name is basically Tester um, so for those of you guys who may be familiar with the uh, pro scene in StarCraft 2, Tester of course is a very, very strong, very good Brood War and StarCraft 2 player. Apparently has changed his name to SSKS, but I think I'll continue to just call him Tester, one of the best Protoss in the world right now for sure. So I'm really excited to be seeing this game right now. It is going to be once again in-house Korea versus Korea and it is going to be two registered pro gamers and so I'm really excited to see what they are going to be bringing to the field today. All right, so uh, <laughs> we are going to be seeing uh, STC here going to be moving his scouting SCV uh, up into the wrong position, but they will eventually cross up with each other right outside of this void base area at the 2 o'clock. Uh, the STC is getting uh, relatively uh, standard right here. One barracks, one gas, has a marine coming out. Interesting to note that he did not decide to wall off his front door, so we'll see what that's all about because, you know, you can't just run a zealot or stalker in here, but... Uh, typically speaking, Protoss players don't go for early aggression against Terran. Two gate is typically frowned frowned upon against Terran because it's so hard to bust up that front door. Even if this barracks is in place here, just a bunch of Marines can hold off quite a bit along with that high ground sight advantage. So we can see here, Tester is getting, whoa, double gas before the Cybernetics Core warps in. So he is getting a very gas-intensive build. Could it be a Stargate coming down? Uh, I, I actually think a Void Ray in these positions would be extremely powerful. And STC here is going for what seems to be some kind of a one Rex FE build. He is throwing down that Command Center, has not walled off. We're going to rely on his Marines to deal with any scouting workers that might try to come in. We do have the SCV starting to back out right here. The Zealot kind of pushing that away. The two gas is still not revealing what the reason for that is, and there we go, a Stargate being tucked away, and I don't think STC has seen Tester Stargate yet, no he has not, and notice how SKS, uh, excuse me, Tester has put it all the way in the corner, so this is really trying to hide the Void Race for as long as possible, and I gotta assume it's gonna be Void Race, I don't think it's gonna be a Phoenix, when you've got these close positions, and here we go, uh, STC gonna be throwing down a couple more barracks, so very similar to that one Rax FE build, that I was talking about earlier he actually has a tech lab a little bit earlier and so we have stim packs coming out from that tech lab looks like the bunker they're getting destroyed salvaged at least and there is a void ray and a stalker on the way marauders and stim pack being researched right now but the sec still does not know oh there we go he looks like he did get a scan down so he does see the stargate or at least he got he saw that with the scv and it looks like tester there showing a little bit of a I don't know what that means. I'm going to say Pi sign, Pi sign, but in Korean, that could be darn it, you saw my Stargate. So uh, I think right now, uh, as, uh, Tester's going to move out with his force, is going to try to apply some early pressure, and at the same time, could try to do some damage with the Void Ray in the air, so it looks like he might try to divert some of the Marines away to that front door. And really right now, STC doesn't have that many Marines. He's trying to pump them out right now. And interesting to note that he's got, kind of going for this one racks or three racks fast expansion build. And he's also throwing up a bunker. 
at his base as well. Possibly going to be throwing Marines in there to defend against the Void Ray. But here we go. The Void Ray going to come in and start to charge up against the Barracks. This Void Ray is fully powered right now. It is going to take out these Marines very easily. And notice how Tester has continued to microing it, microing the Void Ray to keep its charge fully charged. And the Void Ray just doing so much damage overhead right now. And the STC losing all of his Marines is going to be forced to fall back. He does have, he has landed his command center, however. And it looks like, oh, the Barracks could go down. And notice this is a very costly investment for the STC, he's not mining with these five workers, and he's wasting minerals to repair the the barracks as well. So this is a very, very bad position for our Terran player right here. He needs more Marines to deal with this charge. The Void Ray, though, which is doing so much damage right now. Incredible micro from Tester, who's keeping the Void Ray away out of death's range, but continuing to keep the charge up, not allowing the charge to, to die out. And it looks like... Uh, Tester is going to whittle away all those Marines. We saw some uh, mules landing there for uh, the STC, and his income right now is pretty much dead even with Tester. Even though Tester's on one base and uh, the STC's on two, he's really wasting all of his SCVs trying to keep this barracks alive, and he still has not killed off this Void Ray. He does have some Marines to stim pack coming in right there, and he is going to stim and take out that Void Ray. Nice micro right there from the STC. Bringing out those Marines at the last possible second and uh, stimming them as soon as that stim pack was done. Nice control from both of these players right here. And it looks like we have a factory going up for the STC. A second factory, excuse me. Nope, looks like we had the factory cancel right there uh, as I was taking a sip of water. Looks like the SEC um, deciding to switch it up and get a fast Stargate instead. Starport, excuse me. Not really fast, actually. Just getting a Starport. And I suppose he's going to get that to deal with the, with the Void Rays, but get out some Vikings. Always a good idea. And so that's going to be a good transition, a good idea for him. But it looks like Tester here is starting to transition his build into Blink. He is getting Twilight Cancel down on the ground after these three uh, gateways, warp gates, excuse me. And he is going to start researching that Blink and chrono boosting that Blink so he can get it as quickly as he possibly can. And once Tester gets that Blink, he'll be able to abuse this position right here. And this is a very deadly position to Blink into because really, as a Terran player, you've got to... Put your Marines here, your Marines and your forces here at the front door to deal with Harass. And it's tough to run all the way back up here to deal with the uh, Blinking Stalkers. So it's going to be tough for the STC. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do about that. Looks like we have a Phoenix coming in here now. Uh, primarily for scouting purposes, I'm go I've got to assume. And it is doing a little bit of Harass. Going to pull the Marines back. The Stalkers almost have Blink right now. Blink is nearly complete. And as well as the Tester getting his second expansion up. So he's not falling behind in the economy at all. Blink is now... Now fully, fully researched, and he can blink in here and start to do some very critical damage. Uh, the STC is throwing up additional barracks, going to be forced to cancel that one, but he's throwing up these barracks, of course, to stay on top of the production with the uh, Protoss player Tester, and it looks like the STC has even landed this factory here, but meanwhile, we have a blink coming in. The blinking stalker is going to come in here, possibly going to take out a lot of forces. Looks like they were able to kill off some marauders here or there. The SCV is leading the charge against the stalker. Some nice blink continues. Continuing blink from Tester right there, and oh, Tester blinking amongst the Marauders, and that Marauder going down right there is going to be the nail in the coffin.